Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Olga and I'm doing videos about bags, minimal fashion and some vlogs living in Switzerland. So I call the series Minimalist in Switzerland. So today I'm doing a bag related video because I am hashtag bags addict. Normally I do my designer bags collection video, but today I decided to do something new, something more interesting than just showing what bags I have in my collection. So I decided to do a video tag redesigning my bag collection. It's more fun and I have been wearing a few of these bags for uh, many many times so I know what to adjust. So, grab your drink, grab your snacks and let's play designers because I will be showing what I think I would like to adjust to my designer bags. Okay the first bag of my collection and the main queen of my collection is this Chanel uh, classic flap in size medium in caviar leather finishing. So I know I tried to dare to adjust the most iconic Chanel bag and well in this bag everything has a special meaning every pocket every stitch every like you know the shoulder strap everything that we have inside all these pockets all these zips has historical meaning it's iconic bag and that's why i also chose to spend that much amount of money to buy it this style is never out of fashion from February 1955 and until 1983 when Karl Lagerfeld dared to change this thing. So Karl Lagerfeld added this CC on the closure and that's what he dared. And neither Coco Chanel and yet and nor Karl Lagerfeld but I dared to do some changes and adjustment to this iconic bag. Uh, so what I would like to propose, I feel like this chain strap is too short. I'm 174 and I feel like when I wear it crossbody, it's just under my breast and I feel like it can be a little bit longer. I don't know why, I really love to wear it as a crossbody bag and I feel like the strap is way too short. I also used to have wallet on chain and that was a crossbody mini bag, but there I felt it was too long and it was somewhere near my knees. Uh, but this bag, I think ideal strap for Chanel bags is on Chanel Jumbo. But this is what I would like to adjust. And another thing is this uh, button closure in, of the inside pocket. I just put my things inside, close this flap, then put like this because it's quicker so I never actually close this little button and I would just remove it oh it sounds so scary uh, but yeah uh, this changes I would like to do for this other than that this bag is ideal then we have one of my favorite just like makes me this color makes me so happy however I've got some adjustments to Bottega Veneta a Jody mini bag. So um, actually the design is very minimalistic and you don't have a lot to change but I would love to propose something. So I have this zip here. When I open it in full, so this is how it looks, we have quite limited space. So when you take and you grab something from inside, I never actually open it full size, but when I need to grab something quickly, I always scratch my hand with the zip. This I would love to change. I don't know uh, if it works with the design, but I would prefer something similar, like a magnetic uh, closure, like the pouch has. I don't know if it's like, design-wise and technically if it's possible, but I would prefer something doing like automatically and soft instead of like having this sharp zip. And another thing that I would like to change, you know, I've got it in this trendy green color. I'm not sure if it will be still trendy 
for the next season but i love i love 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 to see this bag in a very trendy lila color named uh, the color of 2022 by institute pantone is this very peri and it is so beautiful it's an eye candy color and i would prefer this bag would be in this color so that's my adjustment for this bag the next bag is uh, by Ma uh, it's a uh, Bibas bag 23 and I don't know where to start I love this bag I got lots of wear it's such a classy bag beautiful design so it, I loved it loved it but as a bag designer I have some adjustments so to start with I will start with a belt especially with this. I feel like it's a little bit long, but it's really hard to remove these buttons and the leather to adjust uh, to your size. So I tried to make it shorter and it was a military operation. It's really good uh, to wear it crossbody, but uh, when you wear it on the one shoulder, I think it's too long. So this is the first thing I want to change. Another thing is uh, this closure. Like, you see, I have a magnetic closure here, but it's really tight. And you need to go to the gym in the morning to warm up if you want to wear this bag all day long and open all the time. And actually, it's really, really tight. And I try to use it less. I use this pocket for my phone instead of opening all the time or keep it open. I saw that the designers understood and they did the twist closure on the new models. But when I see it, I actually prefer this design because I feel like it's a lot of things going on here. If you imagine magnetic closure here, it's like lots of things here. It's quite minimalistic. You know, everything is just right at their points but when you have another twist it feels like for me as a minimalist it feels too busy so i prefer it like this even if it's quite tight another thing is this top handle strap uh, so you wear this bag like this or you have the shoulder strap however being realistic I need my two hands. I'm a city girl, I need to run, I have my phone, I need, I need to do some shopping, so I would prefer to have my both hands uh, to help me. And most of the time I try to squeeze my wrist, I still can do so to get my two hands. I would prefer if I have some space, maybe another ring here. So it's like two rings, so I can actually wear it like this if needed, if I, you know, if my busy schedule. This is my adjustment for Balmain bag. The next bag is Saint Laurent Sac de Joux. It's a little bit bigger than Nano, but it's smaller than normal Sac de Joux. And it has another type of leather, so it's really soft if you can see and it's an amazing bag it's my everyday bag it's such a versatile classic style and this bag is also i feel like very muted so there is no logos except this one so the design is classy and it works with everything that i have in my minimal wardrobe and it's not to shout like you know logos or brands people who are into fashion they will understand uh, people who not into fashion, they just, oh, this is nice classy bag. So this is much, much recommended bag. And there are only a few things that I want to change. First thing is this legs of this bag. I would prefer them to be in metal because I always, sometimes in the restaurants, you have to put it on the floor and I really prefer to have metal legs than this leather. Leather is creamed and it's very wearable, but I would prefer. The other Sac de Jour's, they have actually metal legs. And for this model, they decided to do it a new design and they make this uh, leather legs. Another thing is uh, this locker inside. You can see you feel it really quality, still some uh, plastic, you feel that it's really quality thing, amazing accessory, minimal accessory to add, but I feel like it's too heavy. When you have lots of things in your bag, you have the weight of this log, I feel it kind of too heavy, but I don't want to remove it because I like the look of it. 
and when I keep the bag it always go like uh, into one shoulder uh, and I have to put it inside so I keep it in its perfect shape instead of like creasing this part you see it's a little bit already creasing but when I put it inside it's okay as a design adjustment I would do a light lock so other than that it's a perfect bag uh, and if you're into Birkin style, so this is the most similar bag you can get. Very similar to a Birkin in uh, leather togo. So yeah, I, I love this bag. My most wearable at the moment. And the last but not least is this cute mini vintage looking, like vintage leather, vintage like gold uh, by far bag. I really big fan of this bag. Uh, I think it's more like an evening bag, elegant bag that you can wear for a date night or dinner out. A very classy, the shape is so minimal and I am just like an amazing bag. And not too pricey. Uh, but what I would like to change inside, it has this two magnet lines and they connect and they make this kind of noise. So whenever I open this bag, I take my phone or lipstick from it in the restaurant, I put it back and automatically it makes it. So a lot of people just like, what's going on? So it's quite noisy. However, you feel like it's really closing properly, but it's not very elegant for this kind of bag. I would change this. I wouldn't do a Z pocket because it's also very, very restricted. What I do, maybe I will not use any closure at all. So it will be like open like this. So, you know, it's a mini bag and that's it. Because of the shape, it will just close itself naturally. Or I do like an old coin purse uh, closure to add something. Yeah, so this is what I would like to change. Other than that, it's a very cute bag. So that were my adjustments. I hope you liked this video. Please let me know in the comment if you agree with me or not. So I also will link everything that I mentioned in the description box so you can check it out for all the bags. And other than that, thank you so much for watching and see you soon in the next video. Bye bye guys.